Well, it's about uh, quarter to six in the morning on September 30th, and this is time for, we're going to start the vlog for the, uh, for, for Wednesday, yeah, for Wednesday, the 30th, it, it, it's bizarre how fast the week goes by sometimes, uh, sometimes the day goes by fast, sometimes the day goes by slowly, and you have different perspectives at different times, you know, so some of the day you'll say, oh, this day is going by slowly, and other times you'll say, where did the day go? <laughs> And it is often, you said, this is why, as most people are getting up and getting ready for the day, I'm going to bed. I'm just now finishing. And it puts you in, into a situation that your morning routine, uh, everybody else's morning routine is my night routine. That's kind of how it's flipped around. But that's not necessarily the case. It, dep it really depends on what what's going to happen during the day or, or when I'm awake. That's my day is when I'm awake. That determines when I go to bed and when I get up. And I can go to bed and then, you know, two, three hours and not be up again to do uh, something else because something popped into my mind while I was dreaming. And a lot of times the dream follows me, uh, even though I wake up, the dream follows me into the wake state. And doesn't leave until I have to sit and sort of think through the the events of the dream before I realize, okay, this is what has to be done and, and come to some form of resolution for it. But again, what happens sometimes is the resolution is that as I'm playing the games, uh, uh, as I'm playing Lords Mobile, they're not quick and easy solutions. You can do part of the solution or bits and pieces of it. You can inch towards your your your, your particular goal. But it does take time. It's not a process that is, that is very quick or very easy. I mean, it's just today on the YouTube store, right? What, what sort of connected the times together? So I, I went off on Clintus uh, on that path, Clintus TV path, and <clears throat> uh, went through a lot of RV RV channels, and then uh, found some too that people would they they were. They call themselves archaeologists, but they are actually treasure hunters. They put together uh, pieces, uh, uh, show pieces for people who want to have these fancy decorations in their in their offices or whatever. Uh, that's an antique or whatever. That's what that, that's what they do. They find the stuff. They they, they go pick it up and well, what happens? They're more interested in the object than how it actually got to the point where. Where it 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 got to, and you start to see, begin to see that there's a lot of history, that's simply not in the textbooks, and so it becomes a new area. But at the same time, as you're watching personalities, you're watching how one person in one part of the country or one part of the world sees things, as opposed to another. Uh, one of the treasure hunters I was watching was in Alabama. The other one was uh, in England. Uh, one were working in the back rivers and backwoods of Alabama, and the other was working on the shores of the Thames River. So uh, you have two different perspectives in areas that are pretty similar. So I wanted to go see as, as this sort of comes up, I sort of started wandering around and sort of start seeing um, uh, what uh, eight passengers had in terms of a sister, because I know she's got a large family. And they're all vloggers, so I ended up at the uh, at one of her sister at, at, at her sister's place, the uh, on YouTube, it's known as the Drew Crew, and really sort of watched as uh, several several of the vlogs as she moves into a new house. And I think I, I, I was watching how uh, one of the sisters called Bonnie Holleran, her husband is the one who did a large chunk of the construction work. Uh, to renovate and really sort of repair the house the way it was, and it it, it, it was a fantastic job. It did come out very different in, in sort of well, they didn't necessarily spend a lot of money, but they spent enough to sort of that the, the, whatever they did was efficient and effective. And you can sort of see how through the sisters, the other three sisters who are vlogging now, and you can sort of see how. Some of their behaviors are, behaviors are similar, and you can sort of see the you know the genetic the 
similarities between the two, and there's also behavior similarities. And then you also see the differences, and you get to see the different perspectives. So you you can end up doing a, a fair chunk of work as an observational scientist, uh, even sort of at the back desk, but at my back research desk on the media in the media room, but. It's in bits and pieces. It's something that has to be put together over a long period of time. And this is part of being patient. This is what, what the game does in Lord's Mobile. Anyways, my eyes are forcing shut. And so that's the end of this segment. You always check your time before I go on the air. Oh, something's going on here. <laughs> I checked it on my phone, and it, uh, apparently there, there's a, a sticky switch there. Uh, when I hit the power button, if I don't hit it exactly right, the screen goes on and off, on and off, on and off. So, And then it was all that. It's October 1st, and it's uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. And that means it's four hours and four minutes into the day. And we're ending the vlog for the uh, 30th of September. We got to the end of the month. And, uh, yeah, it's already October. <laughs> it's a bizarre day. Sometimes, sometimes you have a, a lot you can talk about. I do have a lot to talk about, so I could have, could have added a third segment in here, but... Uh, you can't vlog while you're sleeping. And as I said before, I am a lucid dreamer, so I remember what goes on in my sleep. And the body was feeling a little tired today. There was a little bit more fatigue. But also, there's, uh, it's uh, sensing a shift in the season. So I think I have to switch my cartoons up to uh, and add in uh, Hotel Transylvania, the series. Because uh, that's a nice uh, fall, uh, Halloween y type of uh, uh, feel to it. All those different seasons have emotions attached to them for myself. And as that's the case, uh, as the seasons change, so do my moods and so do my emotions to a certain degree. So uh, I always work, work to try to sort of figure these things out. Ironically enough, my dreams shift around this time too. And you want to try to sit... You, you end up sleeping more because you want to try to sort of figure out what's going on. Uh, there's a, sort of a bit of a oddness to what occurs. And there is a sense that you want to try to get a grasp on uh, what's happening and sort of shift it in a way that you have not a an issue of control, but really... Uh, I, uh, there's no way to describe it. I'm trying to think of a way to describe it, and I really can't describe it. It's because it's not an issue of control. You're not controlling anything in the dream. You're controlling yourself. Maybe that's it. It's, it's an issue of self-control. Uh, how you respond with the emotions that you respond with. And that's kind of the whole thing. Is, is that, And then when you come out of it, you, f you, you have... You have a sense of what's called ponderance, that you're still thinking about it. You're still, the dream is still very much with you. And this is what occurs throughout the whole season. It, it, I think it will stay even until Christmas. Uh, because Christmas, is, once again, is a very uh, an intense uh, season for me. Where there's a lot of emotion attached to it. Uh, and I can sense these things. So this, this is something that I, I, I'm sensitive to. It's not an issue necessarily of a guru thing where I'm, I'm, I'm giving people advice on how to have dreams or what their dreams are. This is an exploration. This is, uh, that's what it is, and that's what I do. Is I'm, uh, I'm a scientist who does exploration. I, the whole goal of what I do is to get out into the unknown, to uh, the untrodden, the, the uncut path, 
and to understand what's there. Is there more? Is there something more? Is there nothing more? Is this simply my own imagination or different things like that? I mean, this is what exploration does. And as the time passes, I'm able to adjust to this better and better. And so this year, again, is this uh, back to school season is presenting new challenges. There's already new challenges on the plate. There's new growth on the plate. Uh, this includes the uh, e-scooter. I mean, my body's recovering from the first week of riding because I didn't realize it was such a, a physical exercise because your body has to really balance the school route. But my body hadn't been doing that type of exercise in years, and I was back to the same feeling I had uh, when I did a, the heavy, started doing the heavy walking. And it was, my body was in a state of extreme fatigue. And so I ended up, ended up, uh, I'm going to say yesterday, it hasn't been yesterday, but uh, for much of Wednesday, I just sort of slept through the whole day. But if, if at each point in time, there was a particular dream attached to it. There, and, and there were issues in the dream that uh, I had to sort of come to terms with. And the issues, I'm going to talk about the issues, these are my emotional responses to particular events that occurred within the dream. And as my responses become more stabilized, the dream itself becomes more stabilized. And so I'm happy with that. And that's what I'm seeing that even when I'm getting a, 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 I'm getting a new curveball put in, a new scenario put in, that I can respond appropriately and adjust, not entirely, because I don't, con it's not a conquering of the dream, but really sort of putting myself into a better position uh, coming out of it and going into the next one than I was uh, when I first started, you know, at the beginning of the season. So, and that's what that happens, that's what happens here. And, and I was talking to one of the people I talked to who has, these issues in his life, and a large, 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 a large chunk of people are very disappointed with life, and a lot of it has to do with, with expectations and anxieties. Some anxieties you have no control of. There is the anxieties there. Even in on the Yali vlogs, they were talking about their anxieties, and she was uh, she was the the mother um, Sarah was talking about the new cat that they got. They got a new kitten. It's a hair, but the, you know. It says with a, with, a, with a baby baby or, or an animal baby, well, there's, a, there's a human baby and an animal baby. They're both babies, and they both have, there's risks associated with having either of them because they're vulnerable. They need their mother. And when you, you take on that position of, a, you're not owning a pet, you're bringing in a new child, you're bringing in a new life, there's a period of adjustment, and it's more difficult than most people seem to realize because, hey, ooh, this is like a real baby. They need this, they need that. You know, there, there's a real life here. There's a real sort of interpersonal response that causes a degree of anxiety. And that anxiety causes you to get tired. It gives you a, a level of fatigue that in many cases you don't expect. And so it could be the, the feelings in that situation could be a negative one, but you learn how to, in many cases, you learn how to overcome these feelings, how to, how to not really, and not necessarily overcome them, but even deal with them, because sometimes you can't overcome all these different things. They're going to be with you for a while. Anyways, it doesn't matter what you're worth, no refunds.